Since it's been a long brewing dilemma, the city once again trying to get a handle on illegal vacation rentals. Nikki Shenfield tonight tells us about three new proposals from the mayor's office. The mayor says there are as many as 10,000 illegal vacation rental units on Oahu. Only 800 are legal. He says it's time to kick them out of our residential neighborhoods. Some people who operate these units in our residential neighborhoods are going to be upset because they're not going to be able to do it anymore. They can't even get a registration number. It's illegal, not permitted. If you do it, you're going to feel heavy fines. Under the mayor's proposal, illegal units could be fined $25,000 a day. Continued violations could result in the loss of your home. We're going to have people checking social media sites. We're going to probably retain a third party to help us do that, yes. Find out and come after you. Under the proposed bill, all rentals would be required to apply with the city and meet requirements to be legal. Even current legal rentals will have to re register to meet the new requirements. Short term rentals would also have to pay higher property taxes. Every hotel in Waikiki and Colina on the North Shore is paying $12.90. So if fair is fair, you need to pay. What a hotel in resort pays because you're operating a hotel resort. It is highly controversial, and whatever is proposed, people will like it, some of them, and other people will be very concerned. But it's something that does need to be addressed. It, it is having a major impact on our neighborhoods and also on our visitor industry. If passed, the bill would go into effect May 1st of next year.